hopefully try to prevent too much of a traffic jam. But, you know, there always might be one, and I don't really know how to fix that. With those rum distilleries going up, rum distilleries, with the sugar plantations going up, we could actually set up some rum distilleries. Some good news. So these guys are doing their jobs. It's just taking a while. We need to get a temester to actually deliver, take their goods and bring them back over there. But you know how these temesters are. They're just not doing their jobs half the time. Was that a limo? Was that a fucking limo? What the fuck was that? Dude, our population is just growing exponentially. I have no idea why. Like, why would anyone want to come here to this weird-ass island? It's fucking penal colony, for fuck's sake. You shouldn't want to be here. Brother, can't you see the suffering of the homeless? I don't think I'll be able to do that, unfortunately, because there's just so many fucking impoverished people, it's literally impossible to just even keep track. We don't have a lot of Temisters. I'm gonna hire more Temisters. My dear President. There should be no need for fraud. We're doing pretty well. I'm gonna keep hiring some Temisters, because actually we're gonna need them. Here we go. Wait, this new place is open. The final one is 133. Hey, there we go. We did pretty good. There we go, so now they got those guys working there. It's because the Timisters work in the garage as well, or they look like Timisters at least. Damn, we do not have a lot of Timisters. That's going to cause some problems later on. We need to get that fixed. I don't think building a new Timisters office will help either, since there is no one willing to work as Timisters to begin with. I mean, right now, the lumber mill and stuff over here is producing stuff, but it's not getting taken. Thank the heavens, my Presidente. For a moment, I thought that assassin... Yeah, that's, that's a problem. That's a big problem. We always encounter that problem, though, where for some reason the fucking lower-class jobs just start disappearing because of, I don't know, they, they want to. They don't want to work anymore or something. It's really weird. We have more Timisters coming in now, and with this new station, we should be able to... Why the, fuck, why the fuck are they out there in the middle of nowhere? Do they live all the way... Okay, that explains some of the problems. These people are literally living in essentially the middle of nowhere. Instead of, like, coming to join civilization. Uh, fuck me. The apartments, they ho they can house a lot of people. They don't house a lot of people, but they, they do, they are in a, a quality of life thing. So I'm going to keep building them up. I'm going to hopefully try to control our population with that. If it doesn't work, I'm going to need to build a poor district, unfortunately. Made of tenements and crap. Just to house the ever super exceeding population of people that for some reason are living in shacks, including this doctor. This is just unacceptable. Okay, so that's already over overflowing. Okay, so I'm gonna need to build another garage already. I'll build it... You know what? I'll build it right there. We'll just slam the garage right across the street from that. And hopefully that will work. I'm gonna now set up a rum distillery because I have... I think it's probably a good idea. And we have the stuff for it. I'll pay the 5000 and I'll start setting up rum distilleries. And we'll make it a spice drum distillery too, assuming assuming we have the resources to handle it. Problem is we have a lot of traffic coming in on these streets now. Which means the exports are gonna be kind of difficult, but mm, nothing we can really do about that. I mean building alternatives roads is not an option. It's clearly been demonstrated.
we could alleviate a lot of the traffic issues by getting rid of this parking garage and turning it the other direction. Maybe. That might work. If it comes down to it, that's probably what we'll have to do. Only arrested one criminal. Jesus Christ. Damn, look at that traffic jam. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to fix this problem before it becomes too big of an issue. I'm gonna demolish this fucking building. Like that. And I'm going to rebuild it in a different way. I uh, have to wait for them to actually demolish the building. That way we can get rid of that little turn there. Should be really beneficial. So that we don't have people, too many people trying to cross out of here that don't need to. And I'm going to instead build the garage facing this way. That might alleviate some of the traffic, I'm hoping. In fact, high priority. Yeah, there should be less people turning that direction now, which allows more people to go through the main streets, I'm hoping. That or I just wasted my time and it won't matter. But that's my hope, at least. So we are getting oil. It's about to run out dry, though, unfortunately, which is a pain in the ass, even though it can provide a lot. Can we actually get oil from the ocean? Is that something we can do yet? It's going to be under resources. Uh, it's going to... I think we can just find it if we look at it with the oil well. Yeah, there is some oil out in the ocean that we could extract. I think that's actually... Yeah, there's a lot of oil out in the ocean we could extract. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to start building some oil stations on the coast. Um, an oil refinery is cost 4000 Screw it. We have the money to do it because we have 80000 This is a good chance to make a big investment in oil. And I think we're going to take it, because an investment in oil sounds like a good idea, if history has showed us anything. Even though it's going to be a pretty expensive investment, it might be worth it. Now, I think that might alleviate the traffic situation. President, several foreign gunships were spotted circling our waters. What? What's going on with the USSR? Why are they so angry at us? Environmentalists are pissed. I get that. Under embargo. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, so let's get a minister of the fucking foreign affairs. So we'll hire. A, I guess we'll have to hire an expert because I don't know how to actually how to get them. And we'll we'll try to fix this situation quickly. I don't think we can actually. Uh, can we get an alliance with the U.S. We might be able to. I mean, the U.S. is at good relations with us, and we might we might just make an alliance with them instead of deal with the USSR. We might get invaded, actually. There's not much we can really do. I don't think we were that bad with the communists. They're at 20%. It's because we have bad health care and, and insufficient housing. The problem is, housing is actually very hard to fix. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try to fix it. Because screw this. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to come across as an asshole. I'm going to try to fix the housing situation. I'm going to genuinely try. I'm going to build tenements, though. And I'm going to build them right over here. Just a bunch of tenements so that we can get some of these people off the streets. I know it's going to create inequality in terms of housing. But, you know what? We don't have fucking time for this. Our Minister of Education was okay, so they want to build a free grade school. Okay, that's good. I will gladly create a free grade school. I'm sure that the, you know, communists will appreciate us providing education for our tropical citizens. I mean, if they don't, I don't know what's wrong with them. There we go. We'll build it right there next to the clinic. So if anyone gets in a backyard brawl with one of the bullies or something, they can get taken care of easily. Okay, we're going to fix the relationships there. Has our foreign minister arrived yet? No, we have to actually wait until the next ship arrives. 
There is literally nothing we can do, like, to help to stop the USSR from evading yet. We need to actually get a fucking... Oh god, there's a USSR ship. Received a crumbled note in very bad English. We set up... We set you up the bomb. All your buildings are belong to us. What do you say? The first of elements can that there is a bomb in our rub distillery. They threaten to blow up the building unless we give them $4,000. The workers have already been evacuated. Alright, we'll do a clean sweep. Okay, that's just, three months isn't that long. We really need that foreign affairs minister here, like, yesterday. So please fucking come in already. Okay, foreign affairs minister is here, so I'm going to out issue an edict alliance with the U.S. Screw it. I will al ally with the U.S. to get you off our fucking island. And you know what, United States? I know how much you like oil. So here you go. You have a nice, nice view of the oil field just right there. There you go. Now fuck off. You fucking bastards. Get out of our island, USSR. That's gonna piss the communists off, I know. But, I, I don't have time for this shit. The nationalists are also gonna be pretty pissed. But again, I don't have fucking time for this shit. We need... Yeah, alliance with superpower lowered nationalist support. The communists are probably pretty angry at us as well, but... What can we do? Loyalists are pretty angry. We need to get a childhood museum. That'll help the loyalists out. Let's let's do that. I'll build a childhood museum for them. We'll build it on top of these guys' house. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Congratulations, my presidente. You're yeah, get the fuck away from our island, you USSR bastards. There we go. So hopefully we'll start making the big bucks again. Those guys got a lot of lumber. They need to get their ass down and work in the city. Just, just come out here and work. Like, seriously, for fuck's sakes. And we are producing stuff at the furniture factory. It's not a lot because we're not getting the freight that we need. We are producing stuff. And we are producing stuff there as well. In fact, the furniture factory is producing more right now than the fuck than everyone else than that other place. So that's good for us. All right, we now have an oil refinery, which means other good news for us. And can we actually turn this into a spiced rum? It's going to cost 15k. I'm going to wait for another shipment to come in before I invest in that. I'm going to accept that. In fact, I'm already in the process of building tenements, so... You know, viva la revolution. Fucking traffic jams, man. I get a big export though, so that's good. Once that big export comes in, we should be able to make some big bucks. Who's petitioning for the statues? Residente, you may not like it, but people want to. Okay, what is um the, my status with the intellectuals? One hundred percent. I can take a loss with them. 
So I'll accept that, and I'm gonna build some statues. I need to build ten statues, okay. So landmarks and beauty, it's time to build the golden statue. No, statues. Okay, you know what? Ten statues? Oh, that should be easy. Let's zoom down to the lowest level so I can get some... What? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Fine, I'll build it. Oh, it's, it's a macho man. We'll build... There we go. Do we have enough statues now? That's, we're getting close to the amount of statues that we need to satisfy this quest. The golden statue, I'm not going to actually put down, because God knows. <laughs> there we go. We just built a huge line of statues just right outside the palace. With Macho Man in the middle. Let's have a look at this from the front. What does this thing look like? So it's a bunch of businessmen. Like doctors and stuff. With Macho Man towering over them. Okay, that's... That's very impressive. Damn, we actually have oil refinery set up now. That's pretty good. And we'll set up more as time goes on. What is this upgrade? Search I don't think we need to do that. So yeah, we got oil. Look, oh, fuck, and America's here. They know that we have it. They're paying us rent, though, so it doesn't matter. High priority construction. Same with you. We need to get high priority up here. It's fucking traffic. We just can't fix it. No matter what we do, it continually becomes a problem. An exclusive interview with El Presidente's childhood bear, which is now on display at his childhood. 542 in input storage. We got, yeah, this is going pretty well. It's great. Come and see us all. Aren't you a little old to be And we're doing pretty okay. That's good. We've arrested two of the five criminals, so we could be here for a while. Sir. Okay, we can actually probably afford that new guard station. I don't want to force arrest people, because that's going to lower... Th but it might be our only fucking option. It's kind of aggravating. I'd rather not do it that way, but you know how it goes. We should be getting the poverty situation under uh -huh. control soon, though, luckily. Maybe we can expand our police departments a bit, up the chances that we catch a criminal. Where are these criminals anyway? See? They like to be they like to run around over here. Okay, so we're gonna build another fucking police department because now we know where they're hanging out. At least one of them is. We're gonna build it right the fuck there. Right next to the school, the grade school. So if any of those kids decide to cheat on a test, they get the fucking police to come in and take care of that shit. That's fucking illegal in Tropico. Only fucking Macho Man Gordon's allowed to cheat. No one else is accepted. Anyhow, I'm probably going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.